and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Ghanaian millionaire citizen Kofi charges African techies to set up their own Twitter. Businessman Dr. Kofi Amoa, affectionately called Citizen Kofi, has bemoaned the decision of the microblogging platform Twitter to close down its Ghana and Africa offices. The decision to close down the Ghana and Africa office of Twitter comes after the platform was acquired by billionaire Elon Musk. Earlier this month, Twitter fired nearly all its staff in Ghana, which was home to its only office in Africa. The layoffs according to sources close to the business were part of a global staff cull introduced by new boss Elon Musk. Twitter's new owner, Elon Musk, has been laying off staff worldwide. He said he had no choice but to slash the company's workforce as the firm was losing more than $4 million, 3.5 million pounds, a day. Last year, Twitter opened its Ghana office amidst some fanfare with the Ghana president Nana Akufo Addo touting its immense benefits. Twitter in a statement after arriving in Africa said it was motivated by the desire to be more immersed in the rich and vibrant communities that drive the conversations taking place every day across the African continent. News of the closure of the Ghana and Africa office was shocking and saddening to many but Dr. Kofi Amoa says while it is a painful reality, he wants the episode to spur young African techies to create their own platform. In a Twitter post on Thursday the 10th of November 2022, Dr. Amoa wrote, Yes, the strength of a continent lies in her people. Can the story of Twitter closing its African office end more beautifully? A group of techie young Africans, Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, have announced the formation of Twitter Africa named Akasanama, funded by the AFDB. Dr. Amoa has in recent years been leading a charge for Africa to have its own homegrown solutions to the many problems that bedevil the continent. The layoffs were part of a global staff cull introduced by new boss Elon Musk. The Ghana office was opened to some fanfare last year with the company saying it wanted to be more immersed in African conversations. An anonymous employee told the BBC no redundancy was offered, unlike in some other countries, but their normal salary would be paid until the end of the contract at the beginning of next month, they said. On the 4th of November Elon Musk tweeted that employees had been offered three months of severance after news started to break globally about mass staff layoffs. However, it was not clear what office he was referring to. It's very insulting, the anonymous Ghana employee said. Under local law laid off staff must be paid redundancy and should be given three months notice, as opposed to under a month in the case of the Ghanaian employees who have been told the last day of employment will be the 4th of December 2022. From the mail to the lack of next steps to the tone of the letter. Just everything, ridiculously insulting, the staff member continued. Ghana staff were sent messages about the end of their contracts to their personal accounts, after being denied access to work emails. There were just under 20 people employed in Ghana's Twitter office who were working in various roles from curation and marketing to editorial, the BBC understands. The letter from Twitter's management further warns staff not to contact or deal with any customers, clients, authorities, banks, suppliers or other employees of the company and are required to inform the company if contacted. It also told staff not to commence any other employment or engagement until their last day with the organization, while wishing them the very best in their future endeavors. Mr. Musk, Twitter's new owner, has been laying off staff worldwide. He said he had no choice but to slash the company's workforce as the firm was losing more than $4 million. 3.5 million pounds a day. Twitter is a microblogging and social networking service owned by American company Twitter, Inc., on which users post and interact with messages known as tweets. Registered users can post, like, and retweet tweets, while unregistered users only have a limited ability to read public tweets. Users interact with Twitter through browser or mobile front-end software, or programmatically via its APIS. Prior to April 2020, services were accessible via SMS. Tweets were originally restricted to 140 characters, but the limit was doubled to 280 for non-CJK languages in November 2017. 
Audio and video tweets remain limited to 140 seconds for most accounts. Twitter was created by Jack Dorsey, Noah Glass, Biz Stone, and Evan Williams in March 2006 and launched in July of that year. Twitter, Inc. is based in San Francisco, California and has more than 25 offices around the world. By 2012, more than 100 million users posted 340 million tweets a day, and the service handled an average of 1.6 billion search queries per day. In 2013, it was one of the 10 most visited websites and has been described as the SMS of the Internet. By the start of 2019, Twitter had more than 330 million monthly active users. In practice, the vast majority of tweets are written by a minority of users. On April 25, 2022, the Twitter board of directors agreed to a $44 billion buyout by Elon Musk, making it one of the biggest deals to take a company private. After a protracted period of controversy and legal battles, the deal closed on October 27. Business magnate Elon Musk began speaking of buying Twitter, Inc. in early 2022, stating his concerns with the company's commitment to free speech and whether Twitter's moderation policies were undermining democracy. Musk reportedly planned major changes to Twitter's treatment of spam bots, a more lenient content moderation policy, revamp of its offered services, and cost cuts. In the long run, Musk expressed an intention to turn Twitter into an everything app, like WeChat. Initially, Musk sought a position on the Twitter, Inc. board of directors by buying shares of the company, but the board created a poison pill to prevent Musk from gaining sufficient shares. Subsequently, Musk made an unsolicited offer to buy Twitter, Inc. for $43 billion on April 14, 2022. This process went through a number of business and legal confrontations, but ultimately, Musk completed the acquisition on October 27, 2022 for $44 billion. Musk immediately fired the top three Twitter executives. About a week later, he began laying off about half of the company's approximately 7,500 employees. A week after the takeover, Musk revamped Twitter Blue, increasing its price to $8 per month and adding new features, including the blue checkmark, verification that had previously been reserved for high-profile confirmed users. This plan was criticized by several outlets, fearing that the potential for misinformation would increase since anyone could pay to appear to be verified through Twitter Blue. Musk opted to delay the changes to blue check marks until after the 2022 midterm elections in the US over these concerns, and stated that accounts that were faking identities, outside of parody accounts, would be terminated. Following the takeover, various brands and companies paused advertising on the platform. Ghanaian businessman Dr. Kofi Amoa, affectionately called Citizen Kofi, has announced that a group of techie young Africans from Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, have announced the formation of Twitter Africa named Akasanama, after billionaire Elon Musk closed down the Ghana and Africa office of Twitter. This is the end of our program today, see you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.